resistors, the series extra. Uh, last time when I was going on about uh, resistors in series, I sort of touched on something that I uh, didn't actually mention. Two resistors in series used a lot as a voltage divider. And this is uh, some formulas for the voltage divider. Formulas, formula, I don't know. It's formulas as far as I'm concerned. So what we've got really is two resistors and the voltage between the two is the voltage we want to use. And looking at this, it's a circuit that's used a lot within a much larger circuit. Uh, and it's going to be seen all the time. Uh, it's used within ICs, within discrete component circuits. I've actually used this voltage divider circuit quite a few times for different reasons. Uh, the main uh, equation for it is that, now I've rearranged it just because I find that the look of it in that format is easier to work with. <coughs> but you may see it written slightly differently, but that's the formula for working out the voltage at the point between the two resistors, given, what, uh, given that you know what the resistors are and what voltage you're putting in. Now, with the uh, um, circuit we've got, it, uh, it's not very good if you want to put a load across here. If you've got a load, so like another resistive load there, then what happens, it'll change the characteristics of this whole circuit. So you cannot use it as a uh, voltage supply because it will just uh, change everything. What you can do with this circuit is use it as an input for a next stage of a circuit. Let's say you've got a logic circuit or an IC that takes a certain voltage. And let's say this voltage is turning on and off. When it turns on, we're going to have a particular voltage here. It's going to go to the IC and it receives that signal. Uh, another thing that's used heavily for is uh, is biasing a circuit. Say you want a particular voltage, especially on a, a circuit that's got an AC signal coming in. Say an AC signal coming in there. That's my in or my AC signal, like an audio amplifier or something. And that's what's going to go out. where well, you want to hold the voltage at this point at plus volts, plus some volts of some sort. <coughs> you can use this uh, voltage divider to bring that voltage up at some point above zero at a plus voltage. <coughs> that's used uh, uh, quite a lot. Uh, so it's really quite a good little circuit to understand. It is really just basically resistors in series, but we do have some specific um, formulas for, for working out what you want. I mean, one of the things here I've got is I've transposed the equation so that I can, I've got the V out. I can also work out R1 or R2 or the voltage in. The voltage in could be interesting because <coughs> let's say you're expecting a certain voltage out and you've got an IC circuit and you expect a certain voltage to appear on your IC and you know these two resistors and you're going well it's not giving me the right logic it's not giving me the the voltage I want on the output so you could go I know what that should be because I look at the data sheet for the circuit and I know what these two resistors are so I can work out what the voltage coming in should be the V in here and then you can look at that circuit and you go, well, actually this is low for some reason, which means I've got a fault somewhere else in the circuit that's giving me a low voltage at that point. So, you know, this could be good for working out uh, uh, problems and issues that you might have with a circuit that's not working properly. So there you go. It's a, a voltage divider uh, and some formulas. That's That's the main formula for it. <clears throat> so you might see it written down a little bit differently, but uh, uh, that is it. And these other ones I've transposed 
to find out if you didn't know or you wanted to determine what resistor you wanted to use for R1 or you wanted to design it so you wanted a specific resistor uh, in there. Um, the other thing about this, as I've written here, voltage divider voltage across two resistors is proportional across R1 to R2. Let's say, for instance, we've got 12 volts here and you want 6 volts here, then that's half of that. So if these two resistors are the same, then you're going to get half the voltage out because it will drop half of there and then half there. Likewise, if you've got 12 volts and you wanted 3 volts there, you could in theory put a 25 ohm resistor there and a 75 ohm resistor there because that is three times the size of that so you will drop the proportional amount of voltage across that one and then across that one so like I say if you if you've got an idea of what you're going to have out the voltage divider voltage across two resistors is proportional so in some ways sometimes you can look at a circuit knowing what those two are and go, well actually, if I know what the voltage coming in, <coughs> I can get a good idea of what I'm going to get out without having to do too much in the way of maths to, to work that out. So really it's, it's just a, a, a very simple extra to uh, uh, looking at resistors in series and thinking about one particular part of that, the voltage divider. Heavily used, but very, very simple and uh, very useful. So uh, <coughs> feel free to write the, uh, write the formulas down and uh, have a play around with it in the circuit.